Oh man, so I know a lot of y'all don't like Vlad TV, you feel me? I ain't got a personal problem with it, man, but um, I am a man of the people, so I know y'all gonna like this one right here. So, uh, Vlad TV, I kind of, I think this was kind of foul, my boy. This was kind of foul. I'm gonna call you out on particular situations. This, this one right here was kind of foul because you could have did better than this one right here. So, Vlad TV put out a statement saying, I want to warn everyone out there who is booking boss man d -Lo. We recently gave his manager, Chris Silvers, a small deposit for an interview. After getting the deposit, he asked four times the agreed upon amount and refused to return the deposit. d -Lo, you need to be a better boss man and hire a real manager if you want to succeed in this business long term. So damn, Vlad, you just talking spicy to D-Lo like that just off the ripple. You better have the fast correct and you're going to just, just um, try to start the man bags like that. Okay, okay, all right. So someone says, so you got finessed. He says the person who made the booking for us got finessed. It wasn't a big amount, but it's just surprising they would have returned the deposit after changing the terms. He was trying to pocket it himself. That's how it appears. All right. So then boss man D-Lo step in the situation saying, <laughs> my manager is time out. Time out. It's all in my bios. Never heard of a motherfucker named Chris Silvers in my life. <laughs> and he laughed at the boy because he got finesse. So then he also retweets something on this page. He retweets this person saying, DJ Vlad, it's unfortunate you got scared. However, you should do your research before sending funds and writing stuff like this online. Facts. Facts. That's foul as hell, my boy. Why would you do that, Vlad? You too, you too seasoned in this game to do that type of shit. I understand, like, okay, if someone on your team got finesse like that, at that point... That's when bosses got to speak to bosses. You personally reach out to boss man d -Lo to try to rectify the situation. He don't respond to you. You don't see a response. Have someone else you know through the industry reach out through, through a back channel. Handle that business that way. Don't just edit a man out like that. But that's the thing. That's the new way of social media. Folks see a tiny sliver of an opportunity to go ahead and capitalize and get some clout off a situation. They take it. Any type of possible controversy, be for the rapper, as far as like, especially us media, media, media personalities, they take that shit. And yes, this is the, the climate that DJ Academics created, which is very entertaining that sometimes, but then you have situations like this, people jumping out the window for no reason at all, a small conversation and something got to just eat, eat as far as the pride wise goes. You got finagle, you got finesse, they finagle the bagel on your ass, it is what it is. Chris Silvers ran up a slight check on you, my boy, and it is what it is, it happens, it happens. But yeah, I don't like that he did not do his due diligence and make sure that that was actually boss man D-Lo's manager when you can see it right here. It makes me think of the person that's on your staff knows Chris Silvers personally to go ahead and reach out to the man for the interview and pay you. That man probably Chris Silvers low key. <laughs> Whoever on your staff, that nigga's probably Chris Silvers. <laughs> and pay himself the money and just acting like he got finesse. But the whole time, Vlad, you don't want to be his finesse, my guy. You better check the bucks. Out of the goddamn money, man. But let me see if Vlad has issued any statements after this point. It's been an hour since, and um, nope, no sorries. Tweet still up. Yeah, I guess that right there. Maybe this may be a situation that when Boss Man D-Lo finally gets on the platform, they have a conversation and they clear it up there. Y'all know how this entertainment shit go, but um, quick footnote, we also went over some arrest footage of Boss Man D-Lo. It turns out that's some old footage from over a month ago, but he has been arrested several times. Um, it looked like they released him immediately. Uh, if, if more information comes about some more things, I'll keep y'all updated, all right? Let me know what you got to say in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.